So, uh, I was messing around just a bit off screen, like mostly just like with any readables that we have, and I discovered the biography system. Basically, everybody has their own history written down in a biography, and, well, if you don't mind, uh, I'd like to share Grace's with you, because it kind of has, like, the nitty-gritty of how she became a slave to the Beatism. I'm not gonna, like, read all of them this episode, it's just, like, it's something that, like, we may stop to read every now and then. But for now, I guess we could, like, I guess, like, we'll begin with, like, Fall from Graces. My past is not a long one, at least by Tanari standards. I do not know if you are familiar with the Tanari, but we are a race of the Abyss, a staggered, trying a staggered series of planes filled with chaos and evil hearts. I am a Tanari, a fiend, a succubus. I grew up upon the first plane of the Abyss. My mother was a succubus herself, as I'm sure you are aware. Succubi tempt mortals to bring their souls to the Abyss. My mother was among the finest, seducing countless mortal men to their eternal damnation. She now lives in the Abyss, selling her children into slavery. She sold me to the Beatizu, the blood enemies of the Tanari. I think she rather expected that they would kill me. Despite her knowledge of other subjects, she knows little of their culture and the delight they take in tormenting others. Fortunately, the Beatizu are a proud species. The thought a Tanari could best them at anything was something intolerable to them. So I challenged one of the proudest of the Kornigan to a Chundu contest of improvisation, and it was here that my Tanari heart allowed me to win the day. The Tanari are chaotic creatures, wild and unpredictable. The Beza and the Beatazu are more cun are more cunning fiends with orderly hearts. They understand improvisation, but then but they are not among Lid's best practitioners, and thus I won my freedom. That was a very long time ago. I left the Lower Plains for Sigil. I encountered the Society of Sensation, and my experiences upon the Beatazu instilled in me a desire to learn more of the multiverse. Why? I believe there is a truth to the multiverse. Even then, even if that truth is that there is no truth at all, I believe that the planes are meant to be experienced, and the more one experiences, in traveling, in joy, in pain, in merriment, or in suffering, the more the multiverse reveals itself to you, and the more you are revealed to yourself. Still, jeez, Grace, that's... Nobody's mother should just turn on them like that. But that's the only biography we'll read for today. For now, we need to get the third key to the stable that we're looking for, and I don't remember the person's name exactly. I know their na their names starts with like A A B. Nab some nab it. There we go. You see an angel-faced man, his eyes squinting nearly shut, as if unwilling to watch the world's horrors or let the world see the horrors inside him. Yet his face is creased with smile lines. His voice is friendly and lackadaisical as he greets you. Hi, I hear you're looking for a certain key. I am. The caretaker of the town dump is a man named Kais. Scuttlebutt and Scuttlebutt has it that he's got plenty of gold hidden underneath his floorboards, and that there's a gang of ruffians who are planning to take it from him. I've got my reason, and I've got my reasons that they don't. Go talk to Kais and get the story from him. Do it, and I'll give you the key if you're interested. I can show you then some tricks of stealth. Some tricks of stealth. And unfortunately, we are not thieves. Well, Anna is, but you know, we're not. Okay. Updated my journal. So... What is it precisely that we're supposed to do? Defend the dump caretaker. Oh boy, that's probably not gonna go well. Uh, here we go. Wait. Did I get my spells back? I did. 
fact, I think... Oh, right. Grace has, like, a priest skull. Oh, she can memorize new... Hi, dog. Uh, she can memorize new spells now. So... Slap in an extra cure wounds. An extra one of these. Oh, she knows fifth level spells now. Cure critical wounds and raise dead. Mmm. Mmm, that's tempting, but I think, like, Nameless has that covered since he can use it, like, right today. So let's have that. And we should probably go back and nap to get all these spells back just in case. And, and also, uh, I haven't got any new spell slots. I only have all 4th and 5th spell slots, but we don't have any 4th and 5th spells. Okay. Yeah, we're good. We just got a nap, not to mention, like, Morda and Dacon are still missing, like, a chunk of their health, and that's no bueno. Make it safe to stay, stay in the merchant's quarters. Yes. There we go. There we go. We're good to go now. Plus it's daylight, so that means they can actually see the punks trying to, uh, you know. Any punks trying to, like, mess with this guy that we're supposed to be defending. Pump caretaker, there he is. You see a scruffy old man who reeks of garbage. He seems somehow more vital than most of the people in this town. More vibrant, as if he didn't quite belong here. He looks up to you as you approach. It shouldn't and straightens his back. Come to see Kais. Heard stories of wisdom and righteousness. Examples that are men that are set to be lived by. Uh... I heard you're having a bit of trouble with a group of bugs. Uh, when it is the man, leader of and leader of lice, collector of sins, he tells me I have coin, and that I should give it to him, but my wealth is solely in my heart and my faith. I told him, th and I told him this, and I fear that he does not believe. Go convince him of this, please. He stands at inner curse, in the southern side of the near the wagons. Sure. I will try and do the just this. At the same time... Do, do, do you really only, like, have wealth in your, uh, in, in your heart? I mean, it doesn't look like we can get into your home and find out, so... Aw. This, and this Lim Lim and... Oh god, please don't tell me these guys are, like, preying on this Lim Lim. Doesn't look like it, so they're probably just... They're, they're, they're probably best friends. Done. Alright, so... Well, let's go to Inner Cursed, then. Excuse me. Okay, Inner Cursed near the wagons. All our boxes, but no wagons. Here we go, here are wagons. Hi, Lim Lim. Okay, oh, this guy even looks like a brooding JRPG protagonist. Anyway, you see a burly thug. His face is scarred and creased with countless tales, tales of violence. And his voice comes like growls scraping over the seabed. What do you want, Burke? I've come to talk to you about Kais, the dump caretaker. Ah, uh, has the poor little man heard that we're coming for his money? He scratches himself. You go back and tell him he's given it up or Henry Henry's a dead man. Go on now. I have a few questions first, but yeah. Alright, fine then, you fucking pissant. Alright. Shit, I guess we better go tell Kais the bad news. Right. 
Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Okay, uh... I guess I will have to distract this one for the time being until Mort can get here. Back on, you take on this Burke. Anna, you take on this Burke. Uh, Nordum, provide Anna with support fire. That and uh, Grace, you want me? Please. There we go. Yeah, that, that, that takes care of it, I think. Now, now we move over here and we loot. Done. And the useful stiletto, meh. A hammer, also meh. Nobody's really gonna pay money for that. Anyway. Kais, are you okay? You saved my life. Kais seems vaguely stupefied that this would happen and cursed. I owe you much. Should you ever require healing, come seek me. I will provide what assistance I can. Excuse me, I must go sit down. Oh, poor guy. So, yeah, I guess now that we've defended him, we should go back and All talk right. to, uh, Nabbit. Well, he's okay, but I think he's a little fucked up. Nabbit, and Nabbit gives you a huge smile as you walk in. I hear you're done. That means you yeah, that means you get the third part of the key. His eyes blaze for just a moment and the verse rolls forth. Their prison met and their portion set. When his eyes return to normal, he shrugs. Not much of a verse, I'm afraid, but it'll have to do. Thank you for your help. The next portion of the key is with Delon. He is one of the young and she and uh, he's with one he's the one of the and he's the one with the young female friend over there. Or I could train you in some thieving tricks. Uh updated my journal. Let's see. Have you ever played the yeah, have you ever put and played the arts of the earth tree and uh, the cross tree before? Have you ever lifted purses for a living, or crept in long dark hall and hallways with nary a sound? Or am I going to have to train you from scratch? Uh... Yeah, nah, I can't, I, I don't wanna friggin... Uh... I don't wanna start from level one. Okay, let's see... Citizen... I think he was actually... No. Uh, just said he's the one with the young female friend, and like, there are a lot of those. Yeah, I mean, I guess he must be, like, over here? Yeah. At least I think so. Alright. Okay, seriously. You just said he's the one with the young female friend, and I'm just like... There are a lot of females and a lot of people not named Dallin around them. Oh. I mean, I guess either I didn't see him, or, like, I'm just dumb. Anyway, hi. You see a tall man with shoulder-length black hair and piercing blue eyes. Whenever he, whenever he, whenever, 
He, wherever he looks, seems to be a uh, smol seems to smolder under his gaze. Standing next to him is a quiet young woman who smiles vaguely and at and at all he says. He turns his bright blue eyes to you and smiles largely. I'm Dallin. You're looking for a key. That's right. What do I have to do? To, what do I have to do for it? Updated my journal. It's simplicity itself. One of the one of the one of the city leaders is having a bit of political difficulty, shall we say. One of his enemies is on an, on the city council is causing him some trouble. Go talk to him and go talk to him about it and see what you can do to help him out. His name is on that is Anisus. He's a Githyanki. Oh no. Okay. Okay. I don't want to be rude to him and his friend, but uh, all I can say is this, Dacon, please behave. Like I trust you and all, you're my bro, but like, I I know I know you don't like get Yankee very much, and we need to do this to get the to get to the data that we're looking for. So, like, please behave. Also, Dakon, I'm dead serious. Please, please maintain your composure. You see a sallow skinned Githyanki, thin of face and mean of eye, stalking to learn, stalking deliberately. You can practically smell his rage. As you approach the and as you approach, he looks up at you. What do you want? He snarls. I have the questions for you. We are to help a Githyanki. What draws him here, away from the song of blood woven by his brothers? A Githyanki's eyes narrow. I have cast aside the hatred I bore for your people. I have risen above the petty feud between our two races. For this they exiled me, but in my heart I have bested them. Can you say the same? Uh, Alright, you two. No, no, no fighting. Uh, a friend of a friend told me you were in need of help. His intensity doubles. What have you heard? Simply, you're having difficulties with a political enemy. His eyes widen for just a fraction of a second, then narrow again. I see, and you are here to help me. Yes. This is what you must do. The woman, Siaba. Has been and has been selling her influence to the highest bidder, undercutting it and undercutting my position with the bro with the with the burger of this town. I wish you to humiliate her. All you need to do is tell the captain of the guards that she has attempted to hire you to attack me, and you shall be rewarded. You can find her if you desire near the administration building. Hmm. I think we'll just like go talk to the I captain of the guard then. If I can find him, let's roll gang. Uh let's see. Alright. See, let's see, Captain of the Guard. Where would he be? That door is locked, so Yeah, I guess I'm just like looking for a captain of the guard then, wherever he may be. Certainly not around here. Oh wait, there's Did we fight something here? 
I don't remember. I don't remember fighting. Oh no! Wait. Right. This is where we failed to protect the girl. Fuck. I'm sad. Okay, but map-wise, where are we? I. It's unknown. This 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 house is not marked. Hello? It's, 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 it's just a simple first citizen's house. Kinda looks like Phnom the linguist's house, but no, we're, we're looking for the captain of the guard. Also, oh. hello. We can look into a box here. What's inside? It's locked. Hey, Anna? I'm gone. Got it. Nice. What's inside? What's in the box? Ooh, shinies. Nice. Okay. Done. Now we just need to go back to what's in here. Blocked, Anna. <laughs> Okay, but no, really, we're looking for the captain of the guard. These are some regular ass cursed guards. Maybe he. Actually, maybe he's over here. I don't think we, like, looked much further than, like, these wagons. Not to mention, it's like. Yeah, this house is unmarked too, so maybe he's in there. Oh, are, are these assholes having a fucking. No! Don't do that! Animal fighting rings are a bad, but I don't think I can stop it. Curse citizen, curse citizen, curse citizen. Yeah, I don't know where the captain of the guard is. Is there any way we can, like. Uh. There's like nothing I can do to stop this fighting ring. That's, that's dumb. Come on, no. This is this is this is bad. This is a bad no. Sir, this is a bad. Ah, uh, damn it! Looks like there's nothing I can do. Done. Okay, but no, seriously. Oh, wait, what's this? Uh. Oh, the barracks! Of course, like, the friggin' captain of the guard would be here. Okay, let's see. Guards, 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 but I'm looking for your captain. Chris guard, Chris guard, Chris guard. Done. Looking for your captain. Hello? Done. Uh. I guess we just like talk to one of them about it. Let's see. You see one of Cursed's finest. He looks a little bored. What do you want? Don't you know there's a lockdown? Uh. Wait, what? I'd like to see the person in charge, please. What, the burger? He's in the administration building. Good luck getting to him, though. He yeah, and he doesn't see anyone these days. Oh. Uh. One of the officials of this town has asked me to murder another one of them. I thought I had better warn you. He shakes his head. I might look stupid to you, but Burke, you ain't getting involved in political squab and squabbles. I value my job and my life. Take it to the captain. He's over by the mi Oh, okay. Thank you. He's over by the town gate, it seems. Go 
Guard Captain, here we go. You see a crisp, military efficient man, dressed in the dressed in the outfit of the cursed guard. He seems to be more authoritative. He turns a contemptuous eye to you. What do you want? Uh one of the officials of this town has asked me to murder another one of them. I thought I had better warn you. His eyes sharpen behind his helm. Give me their name. Who's planning that? Siaba is planning to murder Anna. Uh, and and he's a. S Updated my journal. His eyes narrow into slits. I've been wanting her on my and wanting myself for some time now. I have a special punishment for her. I'll send a detachment. My thanks, stranger. Well, we just helped in a horrible political squabble. Let's go tell the bastard who wanted us to do this. All this for a Deva key, too. There he Play. is. Coordinate opposition. Location, Gate Town. Cursed. Thank you, Nordum. Well, what are the progress? Uh, I spoke with the guard captain and he said he'd send a detachment to escort her to prison. Updated my journal. Then I owe you this. He hands you a heavy pouch of co Holy shit, we just jumped in like 3,000 coppers. Fuck. Wow. Uh. Alright. Well, let's go back and get that fourth key, shall we? Oh, yep, there goes that detachment of guards. Okay. Oh, wait, I think this is actually the fifth key. All right. Either way... Dallin... Down. Nameless. All right. Nameless. Excuse me. I heard all about your fine work, friend. There was and that was an interesting little turnaround. How'd you like that and how'd you and how'd you like curse politics, hm? He claw and he claws his ale. And then and here's your payment on my end. His voice deepened, taking on an almost ever ritualistic tone. As far removed from the gods and light of heaven. His voice normalizes and he says, the final portion of the key. Talk to Gon talk to Donna Kisho over there. Actually, updated my journal. I do, I do want to ask. Actually, y you know, yeah. What? Uh, why did you want that taken care of anyway? What was your connection? Because Anzi and and Anzi has prevented forbid me to play on the end of plan to play in this city. He spit and he spits on the floor because Siaba refused to aid me despite our long friendship. She said and she said the time wasn't right to play her hand. Because because he was a power hungry mongrel. And she's so and she's self aggrandized and she's a self aggrandizing whore. I knew that I knew that one way or another, both of one or both of them would fall. Uh huh. You know what? I'm just gonna ask out of curiosity. Who's your friend? She's a friend, friend, and we're getting along just fine. Did you want something else? Nah. Alright. Alright. This should be the final piece of the key, I think. You see a red-haired woman, short and plump. Her face is thin as thin as lined with cares, worries, and hatreds that seem to have festered for all too long. She rasps out, You're the one wanting to get underground, eh? You need to do Donna Kisho a favor before she gives you her piece of the key. There's a fiend locked up here in town. I need him freed. She presses a scroll into your hands before you have a chance to react. Uh... Why? 
Because it's mine! I sacrificed too much for it. Because they took it from me and hid it from me and locked it away and no other and no one other would ever help me. Right when it was all I ever wanted to for myself. Her voice grows cunning. But now I have knowledge you need, and you'll never get it unless you get and let Agro should Agro should not go. Uh, how do I know it won't go on a rampage? A little smile fills her eyes, one of the most poisonous smiles you've ever seen. That's not a problem that concerns me. You cut your own deals when you cut your own deals with the fiend. I just want to meet. I just want him freed. <sighs> what if I say I won't do it? Okay, I just ends the conversation then and there. So fuck me. Uh. Brain silo, pentagram, read scroll. That's so hard? Oh dear. I mean. Alright, but here's the thing. If I end up having to kill him, you don't hold me responsible, because I'm just doing it in self defense. Uh, na nameless. Uh, everybody can, can. Can everybody please move? And like get off. Yes. Very the well. Please get off the pentagram, Grace. I, I think. Therefore, I am. I think. I don't want any of you guys getting hurt. Anna, Anna, just back up a little more. Good, good. More, more. You're good. Uh, deck on. Back up a little bit more, please. Your path is mine. There we go. All right. Let's read it. The air darkens for a moment, and there is a sense of wind rushing through your head and heart. When your vision clears, a towering fiend stands before you. You see, you see the huge creature. It stands over fifteen feet in height. Its massive torso spreads about four arms that end in pincers, then two with clawed hands. The head is dog-like with sharp fangs and, a vi and violent eyes. It gazes at you steadily. Uh... Hi? The creature's gaze never wavers, and as it continues to stare at you, finally you feel a tugging at your mind and a voice speaks to you in your head. Greetings to you as well, human. I am Angro Shanak. Why are you here? Questions? Questions. This amuses me, you may ask. Uh, Donna Kisho sent me to free you. How do I do that? Actually, what can you tell me about Donna Kisho? I know nothing of her other than the fact that she is my summoner. This you already know. You hold the scroll. He points a clawed finger at the parchment Donna Kisho gave you. Why did she summon you? I do not know. I was intercepted before I arrived. We never spoke. Who intercepted you? I do not know. My captor has chosen not to reveal his or her presence. Alright. Uh Donna Kisho once sent me to sent me to free you. How do I do that? He points a clawed finger at the edge of the pentagram. Simply break and break the diagram by erasing a small portion. He looks at you, his eyes boring into your skull. Well fuck, here we go. You kneel down and touch the diagram. A surge of energy washes up your arm. With a, quick, with a quick stroke, you erase part of it. Just as quickly as the energy fades, you hear a cry of triumph going within your mind. Free at last! You have done a great service, and then, out of gratitude, I will not slay you. He points a clawed finger at you. Know this, however. If we ever meet again, you shall rue the day. Farewell. You know I've learned some new tricks? Cool. Let's level Anna up. Let's, uh. Uh. Put some into. Open doors. To detect traps. Into stealth. And just to make it like an even number, pickpockets. There we go.
Okay. I guess now we go tell the friggin' crazy demon summoning lady that we, we let her pet free. Done. You're done, ain't you? Yes, you are. But where is Agroshen Agroshenak? Uh. I'm sure he'll be around shortly. She cackles. And we shall make our plans to lay our traps in there, and, and they shall rue their mistakes. Oh, yes. She presses a bag of coins into your hands. Here's the last part of the key. As from the center, thrice shall be in tr thrice to the utmost pole. Go back and talk to Tainted Bars now. We'll steer you right. Still cackling, she gathers her belongings and scurries out. Updated my journal. Oh dear. I think we may have done something terrible. I think we should have just left it in the pentagram. Let's see. You got one more thing to do. See that drunk bastard Chen? Cheka Pute, go kill him. He raises his voice. Hey Cheka, here comes your death. The drunken guard staggers at you, roaring. It's obviously, and it's all, it's obvious he'll see you dead first. Oh dear. Mort, say something offensive at it. Hi, Dad. Good as done. And, uh, as for me, as for the old nameless, uh, the old magic missile! Uh, did you see that? No, oh, run, 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 run. Oh! Oh, he's dead. Well, fuck, there we go. Now that you killed that drunken fool, the gate can be unlocked. Are you ready to go? There's no coming back. The door is locked, barred, and magically protected once you pass through. Do you want to do this? I'd like to rest first, thank you. But apparently not when my party- when my, when, when my boys and girls are scattered. Done. Okay, everybody gather around, please. Where's Anna? Anna, over here, over here, please. Thank you. Okay. I'd like, I'd like to rest first. Actually, I'd also like to look at what you're selling. Oh, we can do both, right? Okay. And now, now, we're probably going to like, we're probably going to a bad place. So let's. Let's stock up on healing items, yeah? Lots and lots and lots of healing items. At least 30 of these. There we go. Nice. Okay, I think we're good now. I don't so like to save. Okay. I'm... I'm ready now, I think. Oh god, what? Oh god! Right out the gate, and we're already being viciously mauled. I'm good and dead. Hey, hey, I'm not done with you! I'm not done with you! Hey! No. Stop that. Stop it. Stop it. No. Also, oh god. Uh. Grace. Please, please help. Thank you. I don't think I've said this before, but having you in this party is an absolute blessing. Also, what did they drop? Done. Hello? Shiny thing. What else did they drop? A stiletto. 
Those are absolutely worthless. Okay. So we are in the cursed underground. So there is a oh god. We're gonna be getting used to this, aren't we? All right. Okay, uh, Mort, say something terrible about this thing. As for me, that Dakon and a back these two up. Processing. As for me, oh me. Oh god, oh god, uh, Grace isn't gonna be able to get the deck on in time, so... Blip. Oh my god, these things are... Nordum, are you, like... Oh, is it... is it dead? Did you guys kill that thing yet? No. Okay. As for me... More ma... More magic missiles. Okay, that's one dead, I think. Uh-oh. Everybody gather around! There we go. Because fuck you. Uh, no. Oh, okay, never mind. He's. Oh, he's. There we go. Fuck you. Okay, uh, let's see. Ooh, a blood charm. Thank you. How nice. I'm gonna give this one to Mort. Because, uh, oh god. Okay. Did we ever find out what this one had? Just like, yeah, it was just an axe. Okay, I, I think, I think Mort should lead the charge. Oh God, what are the, what, what the, f whatever the fuck they are, they're hostile and there's a lot of them. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, nope. Going over there is going sure, to be not? an absolutely. A A A no. No, you stop that. St no, stop it. St stop it. Stop it. Stop hurting my friends. Thank you. Oh good, we got a refunded blood charm. These guys can drop blood charms and that is good. I'm just like looking at everything that they have on them. Because uh if we have to fight whatever the hell those things were, ooh, we're in for a bad time. For now, Grace's healing is strictly for emergencies only, so, uh, I get the strangest feeling I may not have packed enough blood charms. Here, Grace, you can have this one. Lord knows you need it, honey. Okay. Let's just like have a peek see. Oh, there's only one, so. Die. There we go. What did it drop? It dropped a stiletto again. Okay, there's nothing over here. Okay. Oh, wait, did I miss some things? Did I did I miss some things that need picking up? No, I already have this. I'm gone. Uh, okay, yeah, it's just some battle axes Done. and shit. Okay, hi, buddy. Die, buddy. Right. Give us your jink, buddy. All right. Oh my god, they are. Oh my god, they're everywhere. 
Oh god. Leader terminated. I fucked up. Okay. So that didn't go well. That didn't go well. Did I drop something? No. Uh oh. Hi! Die! Also, everybody, get the fuck over here, please. There we go. Yeah, hi. Die. Thank you. Bye. Stiletto. Bleh. Silver ring. That'll, that'll work. Hi. Die. Also, yeah, I think now calls for like a heal from grace. I don't want to waste all my charms. Your space, lend me strength. Thanks, honey. And like, maybe use a cure moderate wounds on Anna. There you go. Okay. What's over here? What is this? We don't know. Uh. more of those freaky velociraptor things. What is this? We don't know. Uh, I'm gone. Who? What? Huh? What happened? Oh, right. Traps are a thing, and I should probably have Anna be detecting them. Oops. Is it just like a passive that she keeps on? Yeah, yeah, it is. Cool. Okay. All right. There's somebody down here. All right. I, I saw somebody. Hi. I, how did we not see that? Okay, Vorsha. You see a middle-aged man in shoddy clothes. He frowns as you approach and looks about warily. Hi. This frown deepens. Uh, hello. What do you want? Uh, I'm looking for a deva. I've heard he's here and cursed. He finds a deva. I've heard rumors. He pauses. What rumors? Shrugs and looks away. Some digging was going on down here to expand the prison. Word is that they broke into an unknown chamber by accident. He turns back to you. Found something or someone there imprisoned. Go on. Some say it was a Deva was found. Others say it was a Beatazu. Others say it was a Tanari. He shrugs. Don't care myself. Whatever it is, I intend to stay away from it. Where's this chamber? I have no idea. Keep poking around down here and you're likely to find it. Not that it would be a good thing, mind you. Alright, thanks for the help. Hello? Hello, 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 hello. I'm old and dead. Oh, our inventory is full. I didn't mean to open that. Done. Avengers Assemble. Uh, Anna, you're a thief. You are in charge of shiny things. Executive director in shiny things. Except this bronze sphere, I'm holding on to that. Okay. Gimme, gimme, gimme. And I'm learning this. Actually, what does it do exactly? The restless dead shall be bound in hell when this spell is cast. Okay. We already know these, so we'll just have Grace hold on to them in case the time to sell them comes. What's in here? Hello! Hello, hello, hello. I will appreciate all of these. Thank you! The game probably knows that I feel like we're ill, we're Ill prepared for this. Oh right, Grace still has all those needles I bought. Ah, uh, thank goodness for small favors. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. I'm gone. I'm gone. 
Oh, wait. Oh! It's... It's not attacking us. You see a tall, slender creature with long arms and an elongated head. Several fangs protrude from the oversized and from its oversized mouth, and its fingers end in long claws. It glances at you steadily as you approach. Hi! The creature leans forward and sniffs you. It then it reaches out with a clawed hand and pinches you. It licks its lip. Lips. You're a little tough, but maybe tasty nonetheless. I have some questions, like why the fuck are you planning on eating me? Conversation before dining is fine. What do you want to know? What can you tell me about these catacombs? Nothing. Wandered in looking for Deva. Oh, you do? <laughs> uh, what can you tell me about Corsari? It opens its mouth and begins to pick something from between its teeth and the claw. It slurs its speech as it answers you. Home. My home. Not yours. You're not welcome in Corsari. What are you exactly? The Gareth Varatsu. Uh, Gareth? It belches, and an noxious, and an ox noxious odor fills the air. It lazily points a finger at itself. I am a Garolith. My station is Faratsu. Hmm. Right. I'm just gonna. Uh oh. Hurt. Oh, this guy hits hard. Um. I'm just gonna use this. I'm gonna get this whispering blast to death on because uh, I think only he can use them. Mort, say something offensive about it. Okay, every everybody, every, everybody wanna. Hey, everybody like wanna like gather around and beat the shit out of this thing hurting our friends. Thanks. I'm gone. All he had on him was a stiletto. <sighs> Fucking all right. Uh, here, more have this clock charm. So that way, like, it frees up inventory space. We should be fine for the time being, though. Okay. So if he's looking for the Deva, that means he probably isn't far off. There's nothing inside this thing, whatever it is. The hello, old hermit. You see a dirty man, hunched and crabbed with age and darkness. His in, in his lank, greasy hair, fun, fun flies from his shoulders as he spies you, and his eyes go wide with fear. His fingers begin twisting, moving through some arcane patterns. It's okay, it's okay. We're, we're not, we're not here to hurt you. Ah, another visitor, eh? You and you'll be wanting to scare the old hermit half to death, eh? These tunnels are no place for casual, sin for a casual spring walk, you know. What do you want from me? I'm looking for a deva. Heard rumors about it, but this old hermit ain't seen it. I thought it might be underground, since this place is still- and locks up all good things. But I still can't find it. If I could, I'd ask it if it heard about my god. It rattles off another sigh and looks down the hallway. Somehow, it feels like it'll be off to the west there. But I still haven't found it. It must have a guardian. He winks at you. What are you doing down here, anyway? Wait, did he gain an item? Oh. Uh, he sighs noisily, catches himself, and looks around wildly for a moment. I came to curse because my god was exiled to Carceri. I've been moving closer to him, and I know, I know the time, but I'm not going into the prison plan after him. I'm trying to find another way to get him out, since he's the bent since he offends, since he's in a power of good. He shouldn't even be there, but that's how exile works, I guess. Uh, let's see. I wonder if we like talk to him again if he'll like let us rest here. I need a place to rest. Thank you. You were a good and kind soul. Ugh, oh, we have our spells back. Okay, so he said that if he had a hunch, it'd be down here near the west. So let's go there. Oh. 
Oh, a, 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 a place trans I'm transition? Gone. Can we, can we... Okay, there we go. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Mark. Good is done. Mort. Oh god. Oh god, there's so many of them. Uh. I guess we'll just like gather around and beat the shit out of one at a time. Oh god. Oh god, when did Grease get that hurt? Also, when did we seal the scroll of the guardian? Ma oh, that's what he gave us. We're gonna have to look into that whenever we're not dying. It's okay, Grace. You're going to be okay. Okay, beat the shit out of this one next. There we go. Okay, now, what this do? Does the user cast Guardian Mantle? All physical hostile attacks can be done away and all physical hostile attacks can be done away with. The spell creates a magical blanket of energy that envelops the caster's body and deflects all physical attacks. Wow. Damn. Yeah, gimme that. And now we do some quick looting. What do they have? They have shiny things. What else do they have? They have rings. Uh, what else do they have? More shiny things. What else do they have? More shiny. Okay, Anna, you are direct executor and executive of shiny, so here you go. Uh oh. Mort! Okay, that didn't work. Everybody gather around! Okay, uh, can I... Thank you. Oh, a blood charm. How, how lovely. Okay, what's up here? What the fuck? Brackish rust-colored water is ice cold. That's not a good- HELLO! HELLO, CURSED GUARDS! Oh! Oh, this must be what the hermit meant by guardians. Oh, boy. I'm just gonna heal everybody up first, cause- Oh, oh, deario oh, me oh my. Okay, first, Mort, attack that one. Nameless magic missile. Error. Error. Ah, gee, that's a critical miss. Oh, wait, that's not, that's not work. Okay, nice. Uh, okay, that's one dead. And that's another dead. Okay, do you guys have healing items by any chance? You have jink. I'll accept that. I'll accept any and all jink. Okay, so... I... There were guards here. They were guarding something, and that something might be the Deva that we're looking for. There's a... Uh, ooh, what? Oh, hello, sirs. Uh... Sure, why not? Back up, Nameless. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. What? Prime Skull. Okay, everybody pile in. Yeah, there are, there are an increasingly large amount of guards through here. I think we're getting close. Oof, hello! Oh god, uh, we were ill prepared for this. Um, not, not for like this dungeon. I feel like we may have prepared actually quite well, but we were ill prepared for like three guards showing up at once. I thought 
these rings? Okay, there. There we go. Oh god, I think there's like four of them. Uh. What's up, Chief? Okay, yeah, he's in the midst of most of them. Oh god, yeah, there is four. Oh fuck. Oh my god, how many of them are there? Where? Holy shit, was the whole was the whole town of Cursed in on this whole Deva thing? Oh, deary me. Nice crit race. Uh, okay. Taunt this guy. And then we attack this one next while it deals with, well, you know. Oh dear. Anna, honey, it's gonna be okay. Uh, let's use some of these needles instead. over for now. Let's let old Nameless over for now. Okay, yeah, it might be time to, like, shoot off a spell. What about? Hey, nice. Okay, uh, another, maybe? What about? Oh, this one I can't forget in test great. Okay, yeah, and I need blood charms. Go, that oughta, that oughta hold her. Okay, e e everybody, e e e e fucking hell. <laughs> oh, dear God. Okay, Grace, Grace, honey, please, please do that. There's a prison cell there. Okay, uh. There we go. Maybe like cure moderate wounds for good measure. We have got to save up on some of our healing items. Okay, give me a minute to loot real quick. Uh. Everybody over here, please, unless there are more guards. Okay, there are some things to loot over there, but for the time being... Alright. This episode may go on a little bit longer. Hello. That's the thing that Grace is going to hold on to. Uh, but, um, I would like to... This, this, this episode may go on a bit longer I'm gone. than normal, because I would like to at least see this infamous Deva before the episode's out. Okay, I... I could have sworn I'd- there we go. Oh, another blood charm. Glorious. Wait. Oh, did we give our- did we give our blood charms to somebody? We gave them to Anna. Okay. I, I had a small heart attack there. Because, yeah, we did lose a couple of items in Rubicon, so... Where's- what's over here? Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh fuck! Three heart charms. Uh, no, we do not. We don't want to part with this. That's special. Uh. Finally, we take some heart charms and some delicious cheese. One more. Hold on to that. Don't know what we're gonna use this cheese for, but yeah. All right. No matter how you twist and tug at this gate, it remains sealed. Something tells you you need a special key for this door. Frick. It was... It might be on one of the guards? I don't know. All right. Did we already check this guard? Yeah. Okay.
I'm gone. Oh. Anybody in here? Oh god, yeah, 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 there was somebody in here. Sure, why not? Mort. Mort. Oh, that didn't work. Alright, everybody form up. Oh, jeez. Uh. Uh. Axe of Torment! On this guy! Oof. Oh, god. Okay, that's one down, that's one down. Let's see if we can't get more to taunt one of these guys. You know, if I gotta slam my eyeballs against you one more second, I'm gonna puke. Here, I've oh, you'll be fine, Grace. I, I hope. Oh, fuck. More. No, you, you leave Anna alone. Okay, everybody gather around. Oh, mother... What? More. You do that, Grace. Back, back up, Grace. Oh, God. Uh... Yeah, Grace needs a heart charm. Fuck, me and Anna could use those two. Uh, there we go. There we go. Use a couple of our needles on, on Dear Mort. And we should be fine for now. Okay. That's done. Everybody form up. Okay. Which one of you assholes has the key? Fuck. Um. Okay, everybody over here. While I'm doing that, though, Grace, if you could heal back on, that would be lovely. I'm gone. Okay, that's the coppers. Chinese. Done. I, okay, it was like right here. Where is it? I'm there gone. There we go. Holy shit. Thank you. I'm gone. Uh, there we go. Give back on some of these clock charms for, for safe measure. Okay. We are ready to move on, I think. Uh, I have no idea what this is. Um, yeah, we're looking for a key. It's a key in one of these. Hi! I'm going. Bye, Mort, Mort, Mort. There we go. Okay. And now. Now we just gang up on him. And Mort needs healing really bad. Grace, what did you wish? I think this might be a good time to like, yeah, yeah, just want to do it. There you go. Okay, is, is the key in here? No, but there are some shinies, and I do very much appreciate shinies. Okay, did one I'm of gone. these guards Done. have the Done. I'm Fuck. gone. Uh... I'm gone. Some of these guards have the key? No, just shinies. I'm gone. Okay. Oh, didn't mean to open that. Okay. Wait, why did our party more order get friggin' Okay, hold on. Let's fix that. Okay, what's in here? Nothing. Anything else? No. Oh, there's another one of these. Oh, but we can I'm open gone. this one. Who? Uh, what? Ah, god damn it! What the? Oh, I think we found the Deva. All right. I'm gone. Okay, everybody, wait over here. Okay. 
Okay. I'm gonna go talk Done. to this guy and... Oh boy. You see a being with skin of the purest ivory and hair of blinding white. His wings are charred and the feathers destroyed, yet he still radiates peace and love. He stands as if in meditation, taking no notice of your presence, holding his arms out to either side. Chains hold his forearms tightly, attached to the dain of the dais in which he stands. Though you do not recall ever seeing me having ever seen a deva, you know in your heart that this is what it is. I've been looking for you, deva. What is it you wish of me, mortal? Speak your mind, and leave me to my memories of paradise. Before you can answer, the deva's face tightens and changes to a frown. Updated my journal. The deva turns his head and rests his gaze upon Mort. The stench of Beator lies thick and about you, Skull. Mort shoots back. You don't smell any better when the, when was the last time you bathed? Grace breathes. A Teva. Yet those chains do not seem to bind him as so much as smother his mind. The chains do not hold him. Belief chains him. Deva, I had questions for you. You bring a Tanari, he hisses the words, to my presence. <laughs> what, did the wings fucking give it away? No. It, well, yes, why not? I will not be baited by one who travels with fiends. Tanari, despite the sin, the suppleness of your form, you will not find me such an easy target as the, and as this mortal. Speak your mind and leave Trias to his imprisonment. It was not my intention to tempt you, Deva. I fear that your confinement has affected you adversely. You speak Ghibli, Tanari. Let's do all your kind. Ask your questions, mortal, then leave. I'm not mortal. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Ravel the Hag sent me to- oh, hold on. Oh, no, 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 no. sent me to you. She said you had knowledge for me about my stolen mortality. Ravel, the night hag, a stolen mortality. This all seems so familiar to me, yet I fear I cannot dredge up the knowledge while these chains confine me. Why not? These chains imprison more than my movements. Memories of much knowledge do I have, but, but the chains distort the memory. How can the chains be broken? Updated my journal. If I still possessed my instrument and the instrument of my station, these chains and then should be sun should be sundered easily. My blade, celestial fire, is held by the shadows of this town. Used and used to power their poor prison. If only I had possessed it in my hand, such freedom would I yeah, would I again know. It is all, and it is, and it is kept from the, in this foul prison, in a locked, guarded chamber. The door is locked, but I know the combination. He speaks three arcane syllables that burn into your mind. Return and strike these chains with my blade, and my and my restored memory shall it shall enlighten you both of us. All right, looks like I know what we're doing next. Uh, first of all, can we rest here? No, no, we can't. Okay. So, all right. We have met the Deva. We know what we must do. So, next time, and let's play next time on Let's Play Planescape Torment. We're on the land. We're gonna be on the search for a celestial blade. And we'll see you guys then. And take care. <laughs>